Hey caveman reviewers, when you buy a new bike, what do you need? You need something to carry stuff in. And this is the new luggage solution that I've got for my TRK. Ordered it online from Best Bike Bits and uh, I've got four boxes. As you can see, it's a lot of boxes, not a lot of bike. So follow me through how I'm going to get this on and what it looks like afterwards. Let's start with the exhaust side. We have a bracket supplied and it fits easily on the bolts that's already provided on the bike. A few tools you need, 13mm socket, a 6mm allen key and a 12mm spanner. Let's get it done. Provided in the kit, you've got a bag of bits. All security, safety measures, and lots of new bolts, hex bolts, spaces, and nuts. Okay, so removing the bolts. Hopefully I don't need that one. Right, next thing is to remove the bolt here as well. It says offer up the bracket, make sure it fits, you know what you're doing with it. There we go, it's looking quite smart. Can't really see it, actual fact I think it looks better on the bike. It says you place the shorter bolt at the front with two washers and then I've got two spaces to go behind and it says I need a large spacer at the back and a small spacer at the front, all provided in the kit. Looking at the holes on the bracket, they're elongated, so we've got a little bit of adjustment by the looks of it, which will be good. It says we need a number five bolt, which is the longer of the two, a washer, a washer on the back, and a nut. And that just needs tightening up. Okay, quick changeover. We now need a 5mm Allen key. The new bolts are fitted with 5, so you need a 6 to undo and a 5 to fit.
And that is one side done. It's sturdy enough. There's a gap between the exhaust and the bracket. Bolts onto the peg down the bottom and it's ready to take the first box, which we'll do later. Let's do the other side. Okay, so that's one side done, the exhaust side. And now this side. Exactly the same routine. One. Oh, that one's tight. Take off the nut and bolt on the back of the, uh, the rear pegs. Now all these nuts have got lock nuts at the end, which means once they're fitted, the nylon thread at the end should prevent any vibrations making the nuts loose. Now there's the old ones off, and the new bolts have that nylon thread at the end as well. I expect you can see that. Okay, let's offer this up and see how this looks large spacer at the back short bolt at the front first one going in and the smaller spacer for the back So far, these brackets have been perfectly made. No bending, they all fit. And they look good. And then on the rear, we have long bolt, washer, through the hole, washer on the back and then the lock nut and it's on so let's tighten it all up Now my other tip is, is you bolt in or you have a bolt that's going through an aluminium formed rear peg. Make sure you don't over tighten it or you can snap the peg. There's one, and there's the other one, and that's fitted. Another bracket fitted easily, looks good, it's solid. Just need to get the boxes on and have a look to see how they look. Now, this is how we fit the back box, the top box. Already have a bracket fitted on the back of the TRK, and we have a metal plate to fit where the box obviously will clip onto. Now, the only thing I have here as the instruction says to fit the plate but it doesn't say which round it is which way round this goes so a bit of trial and error we'll have to work this out first things first we need to do 
is take out the bolts that hold on the light bar at the back. So it's a 10 mil. So we have, and we also have a nut underneath. Which is also a 10 mil, which is nice. It's nice and tidy. So, one. I guess you'll have to remember to make sure you put them on afterwards as well. Now for many people I'm guessing this is going to be quite a scary thing to do. You get a brand new bike and then you start taking it apart but let's see how it looks at the end so that's one off the second one off the fittings now looking at it I would suggest there's two holes at the top I would suggest they go at the back and the reason being is because these holes at the bottom are just cut holes these ones as you can see are slightly recessed now looking at the bolts the recessed ones go at the back now there are four spaces as well four spaces go over your holes and what it says is the recessed ones, if you can see, rather than the square head, they go in the back ones, like so. And then the spacers go underneath, and then through the holes. So let's see if we can replicate that on both sides. Have just a straightforward Allen key. And these have washers and the spaces underneath as well. So there's one. And there's two. Four nuts and four washers to do up underneath. See the light part at the back has been taken off it now needs to be re-bolted to the new bolts that's gone through and there's also these wire holders that form part of it as well fix the wire holder slide in the light bar the washer on and then the captive nut okay before you tighten one side make sure you do the other side as well so that's the wire holder on the light bar the washer and then the captive nut if you can get your hand in there it is tight right that's those ones done they only need tightening up but before we do that we need two more nuts and washers to go on these back ones Now we've got to do the same on this side. There we go. Let's see if we can tighten this all up. Ten mil nuts underneath and that Allen key. So 
so this side now I want these finger tight first off so that it's going to be positioned properly and then I'll tighten them all down when I'm happy it's central. I would suggest that that is square so I'm going to tighten that down. And the last one. It's done. That's the bracket fitted. Let's see what the box is. Let's see what it looks like with these new boxes on the bike. Leave to fit them and push the button handle lifts up and if you look on the bottom that's where the connector is so one slides on there there we go over the top that fits down nicely and snug and then you push the handle down and that is on okay so we've got the exhaust side fitted this side to go same as the other side, push the button, handle comes up, and this bit pulls back. Hang it over the top, make sure it all fits. Push the handle down. Just when you thought you had it all sorted, you open up the top box and you find some more fitting kit. I wondered how it's going to fit. However, this lines up with holes already pre-drilled into the plate we fitted earlier. There we go. So these two at the front already got a captive nut welded onto the back of the plate and these are just a plain drop through holes which we've got nuts to put on. And as you can tell, there's lots of holes to put it in. Now Shad's already thought about this, this is obviously a plate and they've given you plastic spacers to drop in so that they don't ruin this and if you look where the holes are, we have one there one at the front and the same on the other side two length of screws I'm going to use the shorter one for the back, for the captive nuts. Here we go, and we're not going to do it up tight because the back ones we may need to do a little bit of fettling. I'm just going to drop the long bolt through and have a look to see how that looks. And we're going to need to get our hands underneath again to fit a washer and a nut. How I did it was balancing and a lot of patience trying to get your hand underneath to screw those up. It's done now. It's solid, it's not going anywhere. Now that looks pretty unsightly. And so, we've got some nice covers. 
and they go. In here, he says. One there, and one there. I'm guessing once this is on, they don't want it to come off again. And quite frankly, I'm not sure it will. And there we go. So this is it now. We fitted the base bracket. We fitted the top panel, now we've got to get the box on. Clips on the back, slide into the grooves there, and it drops down. And by pushing the lock key in, it releases a catch inside. And it's on. So there you have it, Caveman Reviewers. That's how you fit shed boxes to a TRK502. I hope you enjoyed this walkthrough of rather simple mechanicking. And uh, why not subscribe to my channel and have a look to see what the review is on the bike. See you soon.